What does Amazon actually intend to sell, first of all, in these stores? Primarily, this is a play for food. Okay. So the idea is that, you know, Bezos wants people on their lunch breaks to be going out, heading into an Amazon store, buying some food very, very quickly, faster than its rivals can, can do with its uh, manned cashier systems, and then get out really quickly. So this isn't what we expect. We don't expect this to be, uh, you know, popping in to buy a new bicycle. Okay, why? I mean, if, if you look at Amazon, it's all online. Everything you do online, apart from a couple of stores here and there, are they changing strategy or they, do they also want to dominate the, I don't know, fast food joints? Yeah, absolutely they want to do dominate that, I think. I mean, not so much fast food as, the, as a pure concept, but the getting your food quickly, yeah. definitely. I mean, Amazon has had, you know, a, a several brick and mortar stores already. It's got about 20 stores that sell books. Yeah. Um, but, you know, the appeal here is, is really to sort of get that lunchtime uh, uh, worker sort of market that the Bezos maybe thinks is just too slow to walk in and choose a sandwich, queue up, wait for someone to serve you. You know, there's a huge potential to sort of really speed that service up, and speed is very, very attractive, <clears throat> obviously, to, to busy people. Nate, Prime failed when it first came out. They adjusted it, and they uh, made it a huge, huge success. Is that the same path here? They're almost allowing failure to learn what people really want? Yeah, I think so. I mean, at the end of the day, Amazon does a lot of experimentation. It's had a number of products that it's brought to market um, that it's ultimately pulled out of, you know, the physical phone market being a good example of something that didn't go quite to plan. Uh, but I think this is a, a more uh, a smarter strategy than that because people know the Amazon brand. People know that it's fast. They can easily walk in and, and walk out in a very short amount of time. And that's something that's very good to sort of keep people in Amazon's overall universe. And at the end of the day, it's already the biggest retailer yeah. on the planet. It now needs to move into somewhere that it can really shake things up again.